This is Development Application 21-0010, lodged with the Tweed Shire Council on the 14th of, 14th of January 2021 by NCV Enterprises. At first glance, the 53 documents may seem a little overwhelming with their 2,500 pages, but it is in essence a revamp of Peter Van Leishout's DA 06-1054 that had original approval and consent and that lapsed. And that in its essence is contained within most of the Appendix G. And I will show you in what context that is. As you go through the documents and compare what is in Appendix G, you will actually notice that all the requirements that are made in the cover letter that, that would go on top of the development application 06-1054 to bring it up to date and current. And all those requests that are listed in the cover letter here cover all of these other appendixes that have been included and the other letter, the con civil construction cost estimate and the statement of environmental effects. So if you look at the cover letter and the list of requirements to update something, that something is in these G appendixes as highlighted and that is the LAPS DA DA 06-1054 that Peter Van Leishout lodged and was given consent and approval for his Nightcap Village development stage one. But he never did anything on that and it lapsed. Now part of G3 here is also, I didn't highlight that, it's actually most of these are an update of images and a few added reports. You can see that they were perhaps done in 2019 when this was reactivated on the, using the old DA 06-1054. They wanted to get that reactivated. The council put certain requirements on them and produced all these other documents over a period of time since probably around March 2019. And this can all be read in the cover letter where it, the town planner is stating the list of requirements that were put upon the developer to actually produce before it could be taken as a lodgement. And it does match these documents here. Now the ones that aren't highlighted are updates of what's in, in these highlighted PDFs. They are a duplicate of subjects. They are not heaps more subjects. It is an update of the requirements that the original DA, most of the documentation that I am about to show you, is dated 2006. So when you put this information into Council in 2019, it's 13 years old. So basically you have to update it all. And Council gave a list of these are the things that you need to update. And they've provided all of those over a period of time. And then when it's been lodged, it's been given a new DA number. But essentially, it is a revamp or an upgrade of DA 06-1054. So, this is what the breakdown of those PDFs on the left look like if you break them down into the various subjects that are contained within there. There are 37 of them. This one here is actually coming out of this appendix here. 
And these two blue ones here are actually telling you that that's part A of DA06-1054 and this is part B. So what you have to imagine is that council have got a folder, part A and part B, of this original DA06-1054. The developer has come in, let's say in 2019, and wanted to update that. So they've pulled out the closed files and they were closed because it has closed on them. And then they've said, well, no, all of this information needs to be updated. So after all those updates have been provided, the documents that we get to look at publicly are the ones that aren't highlighted on this side and their updates of what is in these two, part A and part B, that produced the approval in the first place. Now as you can see here that part A contains these five here and part B is the technical information and that goes up to this PDF here and it covers all the categories that you see over here in these other appendixes. So these appendixes are updates of these particular files. They are not separate, they are an update of them. Now I'm taking 2019 as the date that this was reactivated in reading the documents. All of the G appendixes that have been uploaded you can see came out of two folders and were related to a previous application. But they were 2006 documents with Council's uh, various minutes of meetings and uh, demands, it, all the, the details that they needed to follow documents that are dated up until 2009 until you've got ones in at the end that are 2019 which are is an update of title searches and also a couple of articles that are done in March 2019. So if you look at all of those documents in whole you can imagine two folders that the council have someone's come in in 2019 and they've pulled out these folders uh, they've attached the title searches that they've given to go with them and they've done a bit of a check and come up with the bad press articles and put them in the folder as well. And essentially that was it in 2019 because a list of demands was put on the developer as is it described in the cover letter that I'm sorry these things are so out of date and some of them are not detailed anywhere near enough to meet standards so you need to produce all of these um, and all of the demands are listed in the cover letter across three pages a great big long list of everything and as you can see if you do look at it you can see there is the replication and the updating of this original DA 06-1054. So when you look at those documents more closely and what's in them, some of them are fairly big and some of them, oops, sorry, some of them are fairly small. Uh, one is only one page because there's nothing else that they can say about it. And then others, there's 99 pages of a, a planning meeting report. And the council documents are actually probably some of the longest ones. So if you go to Appendix G and you break down all the categories, which I have, I've taken each PDF, turned it into every page into an image, and then I've just made my own PDFs in order of how they appear and you can see too from the ring hole to ring binders 
that that's been sitting in a folder and well whether it was given to council like that or it's the way that council have it in a folder I don't know but essentially that there are very identifying sections within the whole lot of it now I have uploaded um, a copy of these they are rather large files though all up there's around 900 odd megabytes so if you wanted to look at each one individually to see how the original DA 06-1054 was presented you can click on the link and download all these PDFs that will then open in the order that it, it's actually presented so these are the folders that contain the images that I made these PDFs out of and to show you what I mean I will just see this one's only got that cover page and a map but other ones may have a lot more in there or less <laughs> uh, click on one of these this one's got a lot more in it because and this one you can actually see that even inside this document it's broken down into certain sections as well so after it goes through all of these sections you then get down here these are actually all the feedback if you have a look at each and every single one of them they actually provide the feedback that was given on the community open day so you can have a look at people's opinions back then and it would be interesting to actually note uh, if many opinions had actually changed you know it would be good to actually do a follow-up on these opinions to see in hindsight if there's any change in their opinion or well for better or for worse so contained within the PDFs are the sectional parts that were taken all of the dark green bits I broke them down into that see this one's only one page too some of them are very very brief and will not contain much information but as you can see these are complete documents so that's a complete report in there in itself so the appendixes G3 to 23 and uh, some of two actually contain an update of all of the information that was originally given on DA06-1054 so to understand how the rest of the appendixes that are part of the upload the best place to start is actually with the G appendixes and go through and look at each section that is described in the original LAPS DA and then look at the requirements that they're fulfilled in bringing that up to date so that it can be lodged with the council and just a reminder that we are in the public comment period so anyone can go to the website and submit your own opinion it can be as short or as long as detailed as brief as you want but uh, it is only a window of opportunity that will be available for a certain amount of time if you live in the area and or the larger area there are, and you are impacted by this development in any way have your say you won't get the opportunity to have it again and for many years there have been many that have not had the opportunity to have their say so this is a rare opportunity and one that people should take advantage of and on that note I will say goodbye and describe some more details on the sections of what comprises DA06-1054 and how that information has been updated with the current appendixes. I shall talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye.